Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Today, we're gonna to work on making one of the biggest upgrades to your woodworking shop that I think you can make. So let's start by explaining what the problem is. So anytime I want to move my dust collection port from my joiner to my planer or to my table saw or any other piece of equipment we're gonna add in the future, I've gotta go ahead and take this quick connect clamp here, loosen this, pull this off, and then we've gotta go ahead and move this to the other piece of equipment. Now disconnecting it from one piece of equipment is a lot easier than hooking it up to another one because you've got to fit it over the collar like that and then you've got to get your clamp around. Now I will say these uh, squeeze clamps here, they are a big improvement over the screw type hose clamps or even the thumb screw hose clamps. These make it nice but as you can see it still takes you know anywhere 20-30 seconds every time you want to move uh, your dust collection uh, port from one machine to another. And sometimes if you just have a couple pieces that you're going to run through, it makes it to the point where you don't think it's really worth the time to hook up your dust collection. And really anytime you fire up the machines, you should have your dust collector hooked up. So we're going to work on a solution here today that is going to make it so easy to move this port from one machine to the other that it's never going to be a decision that we have to make. Do we want to invest the time in moving our dust collection port? So we're going to start by measuring the outside diameter of our flex hose, which is about four and three eighths, four and a half. Yeah, we'll call it four and a half inches. Next, we're going to go ahead and mark our piece of wood, remembering to leave room for the magnets, which is what's going to make this whole thing be the quick connect that we're after. Here we're using our speed square to mark all of our diagonals so we can turn this square into an octagon by cutting off our corners and have all of our angles be even. So I'm going to countersink magnets into each one of these quick connect ports and in order to have them line up right here I am indexing all of those holes so that when I place the magnets into each one of these they'll line up perfectly. Now I don't have a drill press so I'm using a hand drill here and without a drill press I can't set the depth so that I can get the magnets flush with the surface. So what I'm doing is actually using the plywood here to help me out. As you can see when I drill down through here, you can see the different levels and I have picked out a predetermined, once I get through three levels through this plywood, those magnets will sit flush with the face of the quick connect coupler.
All right, so now that we've got our couplers made, let's go ahead and get them on here, hook them up, and see how they work. Okay, opposites attract. We've got our positives on this side and our negatives on this side. There, it holds. Uh, that's not quite as secure of a connection as I would like, though. I feel like it wouldn't take much to knock that off. Yeah, that's not gonna be, those magnets aren't powerful enough. Let's see what we can do to fix that. Okay, so these are the magnets that I originally got from Harbor Freight. I got like a variety pack. They were pretty cheap. I think they were three or four bucks for, I don't know, a 16 piece count of, you know, some small round magnets, some larger round magnets, and then these big uh, rectangular magnets. And I mean, they're probably good refrigerator magnets, but after seeing the performance on there, they're just not quite what I need. So I ordered some rare earth magnets and these ones are, I mean, you really gotta rip them apart and you almost have to be careful you don't get your finger pinched in them because they're that strong. I think the uh, website said that these to just a steel plate, they have a, pu a pulling power of 14 and a half pounds and magnet to magnet, it's like 68 pounds of pulling pressure. So you really kind of gotta be careful you don't pinch your fingers when you're putting these together, but they were significantly more money, but I think they're gonna do what we need them to do here for our dust collection system. So let's pop out those old Harbor Freight magnets and put in these rare earth magnets. How strong are they, you ask? Well, I put together this little test with my kid's swing with a pry bar and magnets on the top and magnets on the bottom. And we're gonna load up the swing with as much weight as we can until the magnets give way. Each one of these bottles of water is 16.9 fluid ounces, which works out to a little over one pound. I think it's 1.1 pounds. So let's get started. I'm gonna need a bigger swing and more bottles of water. Twenty two bottles or twenty four pounds. So because these rare earth magnets are so strong, I think on the dust collection hose side, we're going to go ahead and replace all eight. But on each of the individual machine quick connects, I think I'm just going to do every other one. So we'll do four. Two reasons for that. They are more expensive and I don't want to have to use a million of them if I can help it. And two, like I said, magnet to magnet, the pulling po pulling force is sixty eight pounds. So I really don't want to be struggling to get these things disconnected. And I'm also a little bit concerned that with those strong of magnets, when they're connected, uh, even after the glue dries and everything, I still might have trouble keeping those in the holes and not having them rip right out of the glue in the holes. So we're going to start with just four. If I need to go ahead and replace the other four because the connection isn't strong enough, which I doubt that's going to be the case, I can go ahead and replace the other four. But we're going to start with just four and see how that works out. I've already got these holes pre-drilled out from when we uh, countersunk these magnets in, so I'm just gonna use that to go ahead and pound these out. I'll probably damage the Harbor Freight magnets getting them out, but like I said, they were cheap. I'm not really too concerned about that. All right, so now we've got all of our individual machine side quick connects put together. What I'm worried about now is, like I said before, these magnets are so strong that what I don't wanna have happen is when I go to click them together, when I try to pull them apart, the magnet force is so strong between them, I think there's a chance that it could actually pull the magnet out of the uh, countersunk hole that I put in there and rip it out of the glue as well. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna create a little bit of a gasket covering these magnets and what I bought is it's actually a shower pan liner, uh, obviously only one lineal foot of it rather than enough for a whole shower pan, but it's this flexible rubber-like material. I think it's actually made out of PVC, but I'm going to glue that to the face of these 
and then I'm gonna cut out the hole where obviously the air is gonna go. But I think that's gonna accomplish two things. It's gonna give me a better airtight seal around this connection point, as well as keeping those magnets from wanting to rip out when they're locked together like that. And it's also gonna provide a little bit of extra cushion so when those two click together, uh, these magnets won't actually try to shatter each other because they're gonna wanna come together real quick with a lot of force. the next day the glue's dried the silicone is dried let's go ahead and try this out and see if these magnets will hold our dust collection system together yeah that seems like a much stronger connection easy on easy off switching from the table saw to the joiner from the joiner to the planer perfect all right, so overall, this was a really fun, rewarding project filled with some challenges along the way that we had to overcome. And it's always so rewarding whenever you get presented with some of these challenges, you're able to overcome them and come out with a product that works really well. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I called neighbor Doug a handful of times throughout this project to get some ideas on how to overcome some of these problems. Uh, I think he actually was the one who, before the project even started, said, if you're gonna do that, make sure to get the rare earth magnets and I neglected to listen to him and said, well, I've seen other people online uh, do these magnetic quick connects with cheap Harbor Freight magnets and they used four of them. So if they used four, I should be able to use eight and it should be all right. Well, it wasn't all right. I highly recommend if you guys are gonna give this a try, get these rare earth magnets. They are pretty awesome. Um, I will leave a link to these in the description below as well as these squeeze clamps. And if you wanna get some of these thumb screw hose clamps, these are really nice as well. Anyway, this is gonna make a huge improvement to our shop. If you guys are into woodworking and you have a dust collection system where you only have one hose going to multiple machines, I highly recommend doing something like this. It probably only took realistically about four to five hours to do all of the cutting and gluing and everything. The longest part was just waiting for the glue and silicone to dry. And that four to five hours worth of work is gonna save me that tenfold when I'm going and running boards through the planer, joiner, table saw, switching back and forth with my dust collection hoses. So gonna make a really nice improvement here in the wood shop and make it a lot more enjoyable to use the equipment. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this one, give me a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.